Also a tail, a, a bit of a tail from what we think is a carnivorous dinosaur. So what we did, we collected all the bones that we thought were valuable, were in good shape and were worthy of a collection, and jacketed them. And for economy of uh, weight, we uh, are going to leave the others that are not in such good shape. I'm afraid that's par for the course. Just about every quarry, we wind up moving that much rock. If you don't move it, you don't know what's there. It's always justified. So as it is, be, be it ever so humble, the, uh, this is a small page in the history of humankind that is turned. Gobi does not give up her sacred dragons easily. Now, in triumph, she sends a sandstorm to remind them that this is no ordinary desert. Today, you cannot walk. When you have dust storms that last for days, it gets very depressing after a while, because there's not much you can do. You just uh, hover in your tent and try and hold it together, because you can't go out in it, uh, you can't work. It's almost impossible to find fossils in a situation like this, because uh, if you're facing into the wind, it's driving into your face. If you're turned away from it, the turbulence carries it right back into your face again. So you can't win. In Beijing, a thousand miles away, the skies will turn orange with the dust of the Gobi. And in the desert, work stops for the dinosaur hunters. The Gobi finally relents and takes pity on her 40 intruders. The dust clears, the search continues. Ah, good morning, Francis. How are you today? John Brinkman, a specialist in the fossils of reptiles, has found scattered pieces of an ancient crocodile, evidence that the Gobi used to have a much different climate. This is the edge of the eye socket there. Um, you can tell it's crocodile partly because of the uh, distinctive sculpturing. All those pits are uh, characteristic for crocodiles. We're getting uh, bits and pieces of most of the skeleton, like proximal ends of the limb bones and uh, parts of the vertebral column, parts of the skull. So I suspect that once we finish, we'll have maybe 60, 70 percent of the animal represented. We'll give it a try. It'll be like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Did I didn't get anything? Oh, here's one. No, oh, great. This could be worthwhile. 160 million years ago, where the sands of the Gobi now rule, this crocodile snapped at turtles and attacked whatever prey entered the marsh in which it lived. Today, he's a complicated jigsaw puzzle for the disbelieving Chinese cook, Lao Jung. He doesn't believe. Doesn't believe. Doesn't believe. Yes, 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 y
and then the toes. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Okay. Okay. We can actually prepare the bones as well with those things. <laughs> to work in the desert, each person will need at least four liters of boiled drinking water for every 12 hours. Like everything else, the water comes by truck. Every 10 days, supplies arrive from the village, eight hours drive away. For Linda Strong Watson, it also brings mail, her only source of news of her two-year-old twins back in Canada. There are no phones in this part of the Gobi. Just remember the Red River Valley And the girl who has loved you so true Brown men show ni ju yang li kai zu yang Wo nan jiang wo yi ni wu yi xiao Yan xin yan hon ge gu ni di gu xiang Xiang yi xiang They've been here for nearly two months and the possibility of failure is becoming more and more a reality they might have to face. The big prize, a museum quality specimen, has eluded them. The Gobi is winning. And then it happens. Jutting out from a canyon wall, they spot a massive limb bone. The only thing separating them from a major find is a hundred tons of rock, 12 feet thick, covering most of the specimen. The Chinese come to the rescue one more time. burden is removed, they get their first glimpse of a bizarre giant, a find beyond all expectations. No one has ever found a dinosaur quite like this one. It has the longest neck of any animal that ever lived. The bones of the neck could stretch back 40 feet into the rock and there is still no sign of a head. To support such a neck, the creature would have to be 90 feet long. The only thing it could be is a spectacular Asian sauropod known as Mamentosaurus. This would be the biggest one ever.